Hi everyone, Jeff Legassi from Healthcare Finance News here, and this is Top Stories. We begin with some policy news from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Healthcare Finance News reports that CMS has finalized requirements that are meant to increase telehealth access for seniors in Medicare Advantage plans. This gives the plans more flexibility to count telehealth providers in certain specialty areas toward meeting CMS network adequacy standards. And these specialty areas range from dermatology to psychiatry, cardiology to ophthalmology, all the way to endocrinology and primary care. Now with the COVID-19 pandemic, the value of telehealth is front and center like it's never been before. But what this flexibility will do, according to CMS, is encourage plans to enhance their benefits and give patients access to the latest telehealth technologies. For a look at the darker side of technology, we go over to Mobi Health News, where we find that the government of Qatar's mandatory COVID-19 tracing app has come into question. The problem? An Amnesty International investigation exposed a weakness in the app that could have left it open for cyber attacks. To their credit, authorities in Qatar updated and fixed the issue in about a day. But if there had been an attack, it's possible that a user's personal information, including their name, national ID number, health status, and location data could have been exposed. Despite the potential risk, the World Health Organization has emphasized the importance of contact tracing in combating the spread of the coronavirus. In healthcare IT news, Yale New Haven Health, which is near one of the COVID-19 hotspots in Connecticut, has rapidly deployed remote monitoring for ventilator patients. Fearing a surge of coronavirus patients, the organization launched a tele-ICU program that takes EHR and medical device data to drive consultation. It offers real-time device data and insight to the New Haven specialist, who in some cases may be more than 100 miles away. While it's still early on, Yale New Haven Health says the plan to network and monitor ventilated patients has been a successful one.